uh, look like the, the uh, all the outer part, right? Or what is similar? Yeah, I'll show I you see. all that stuff too. I see. Oh yeah, they have the park support. Mm -hmm. wow. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So if you want to signal to the right, I go see. like that. Uh -huh. And then I'll have you signal to the left. Like this, like this. There you go. Oh, so okay. left or right. Left. Okay. Yeah. And then right over here, this is going to be for, used for your autopilot today, okay? I see. Yeah. Are you familiar with cruise control? No, uh, no I don't use it before. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're going to be doing. Whenever I tell you to, mm -hmm. on the freeway, we're gonna say, I'm gonna tell you to activate autopilot, okay? Okay. And if you wanna try that out, right over here, you're just gonna bring it to yourself twice. One, two. Just oh, like that, can you do I that see. for me? One, two. two. Perfect. Okay. That's gonna turn on your autopilot. <laughs> okay. I have all the settings on standard already for okay. you, so you don't have to mess with anything. I see. But what you're gonna be doing is, once you get to the center of the freeway, mm -hmm. we're going to be touching it like this okay. two times. Remember, driving itself. I see. Yeah, when cars go in front of you, it'll stop. It does oh. really everything. everything. Okay. You're still going to be paying attention to the road, and you're going to have your hands like this. Okay, I see. still touching, or not, not like gripping it I too see. hard. Yeah, I just see. like, like yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Just it's going to because it's going to steer for you. Okay? For you. Okay. If you want to turn off the autopilot at any time, you can just touch the brake pedal. This one. Yep. Okay. Or you can push this away from you like that. I see. Either one will just Either one is deactivate this, okay. the I'll autopilot. Like that. It's automatic. But if I'm doing it too, it's an autopilot is for two times. Yeah, so okay. turn on, turn yourself twice, to so turn off just once away from you. I see. Or the brake pedal. Brake pedal is kind of easy too, a lot of people I use see. the brake yeah, pedal. I see, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So to turn on the car, all you do is push the brake, mm -hmm. and then what you're going to be doing is right over here. You see this? Yes. This is how you're going to put your car in uh, either reverse, neutral, or drive. And the way to do that, if you want reverse, all the way up. If you want drive, all the way down, like that. Can I have you try that for me? Okay, reverse. One more. There you go, that's reverse. I see. And then drive oh, like that. Right, and if like you want to put it on park, it's just a silver button. Like that. Right there. I see. Okay? Okay. All right, I'm going to go swing on the other side. We'll go over the touch screen together. Yep. Okay, so again, welcome to the inside of your, your Model S, guys. So check this out. The screen's kind of like a giant tablet. Mm -hmm. Looks really, really cool, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna kind of go over each button with you, and okay. then we're gonna work our way down the screen, and we're gonna start from the top. Okay. So on the first button right here, you see it's kind of like a lock symbol? Mm -hmm. I'll have you press that for me. That's not unlock, right? Okay. Oh. oh, just like that. I see. So that's gonna manually lock or unlock your car if you want it to. I see. Okay, oh, really no. easy. Mm -hmm. The second button right here, we hit that it's gonna just bring up your charge on the car so it tells us that we have 235 miles more of driving you can also see this information right down there you see it so you know how much more range and how much battery you have left on the car really really cool okay the third button right over here it's called the home link button so what this is is you can pair the car up to your home garage and as you approach your home, you can have it automatically open for you. And when you leave your home, you can have it automatically closed for you. I see. All that is customizable. Customize, right okay. Okay. The fourth button here where it says Tom, Tom this is going to be the driver of the car. So mm -hmm. if you're both going to be driving the car, you can make a setting for her. Mm -hmm. And then you have a setting for you. And what you do is you pair your settings with your key. Mm -hmm. And then he pairs his settings with his key. Okay. So when you walk up to the car, all your settings change for you. Mm. Based on the key, and then when I he see. walks oh up God. to the car, it changes to his setting, I so you see. never have to we like don't change. Need to do it again. Yeah, you I just see. make sure you have your own. But key. even the even the chair, whatever, they automated to. Yes, the chair. all that oh, all okay. does it all for the you. The memory, everything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And another cool thing here is a it's a safety mode. It's called the valet mode. You see this right here? Yes. Uh -huh. And whenever you turn that on, if you give your phone to like a valet attendant. What it's going to do, it's going to put a speed limiter on your car, mm -hmm. accelerator limiter on your car. It's also going to lock your glove box, your front trunk, so mm -hmm. they can't they can't get into this glove box right here. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to disable the internet for them, so they can't, they can't. use this. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So that's really really cool. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Another button right over here, the Tesla T on the top. It's just basic information on the on the car, kind of like how many miles you've driven, okay, okay. your VIN number, okay. and right over here. If you have your phone, you can pair it up to your Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So that way you can listen to your calls or your music yeah. right through here. And your car does come with a complimentary AT&T LTE internet service. Mm. Oh. Right so yeah, you don't have to pay for a subscription for that. It's oh, covered yeah. for us. It's already coming mm -hmm. that it's with the car, yeah, the for a limited time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to be the top row right over here. Okay, just basic your basic uh, yeah, status. Okay. All right, so now we're moving on to the more fun stuff right over here. 
The first one, music. Okay, so we're gonna go to the first tab, your radio. Of course, you get your standard AM FM radio like your normal car, but you also get something called internet streaming radio. Really, really cool. So what this is, it's kind of like you can tell the car whatever song you want to play or whatever genre you want to play, and it'll play that artist or that song. You can also use the voice command for this. So for example, if I do this, play Michael Jackson. Something like that. I tell an artist, play this artist, mm. and I'll play it for you. So while you're driving, you don't have to touch it. You just tell the car, play this song, and just like that. And then you also have tune-in radio right over here. You can listen to pretty much live radio from around the world. If you go to a location, you go to maybe you want to go to Europe, or I don't know, maybe like Germany, yes. okay. Berlin. You got live radio stations from Berlin. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool. And of course, you can pair up your phone and listen to the music. You can at home. Okay. okay. And that's the that's a media app right of it. It's really, really cool. This one right here, the red one. This is the most important application, probably. It's the navigation of the car. Of the car, but not get lost, right? <laughs> yeah, so you never get lost. So, what city are you guys from? Here in uh, Central Park. Oh, Central Park. Park. All right. Let's say we go make a long distance journey. Um, you can just type it in right here. So let's say we go to maybe Las Vegas, right? Okay. <laughs> so what it's going to do for us oh. automatically, it tells us where we need to charge along the way mm -hmm. and how long we need yeah. to charge there. Okay. It even tells you how many people are at that charge location too. Oh, that's so good. you know which ones to avoid and which ones to go to. Oh, yeah. That's really okay. cool. Just like that. So now we're navigating to Las Vegas right over okay. here. So it says, oh, our first stop is in Barstow. We're going to probably charge the for around 20-30 minutes and then we're to, the highlighted road, to Vegas to Auto Center Drive. and these charge locations will actually be free for the lifetime of your vehicle mm -hmm. if you know a current owner and you use their referral code when you order mm -hmm. oh. yeah so you're gonna want to get that that's really really cool no, so no. every time you go to these locations free charging free charging okay yeah. and you also get 1,000 off your order too 1,000 off mm -hmm. yeah so it says here on the way to Vegas we need 20 minutes for that mm -hmm. charge and then we're doing Vegas just like that so it makes it really convenient if you look over on the left hand side of your dash display this is kind of like the turn by turn navigation right here is like the overview of the entire destination mm. it's pretty cool and you can check the occupancy of the superchargers by pressing that button so you see here we have a lot of bars over here right uh -huh. so each red mark means that there's one person there oh. and all the white marks mean how many are not being used not being you. oh, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. in the middle okay yeah. standard Got that region of braking. If you want to access your sunroof, you can yeah. do it right here. Suspension, if you want to change the height of the car, you mm -hmm. can do that right over Ooh, here. Oh. And that's all comes standard, all that stuff comes standard with the car. Minus the sunroof. The sunroof is the upgrade. Mm. Okay. And looks like we're all ready, so let's all get buckled up. Okay. Can you get here? Okay. And we're off. And then we're gonna go to the left over here. Oh, the left like this? Mm -hmm. Right there? Yep. Over in that direction. Only because this entrance is a little steep. And then we'll be making a right right over here. So you see how very quiet yeah. the car yeah. is? Very smooth and accelerating. Even yeah, you go to the freeway and, and then we'll be the making speed. a right right over here. Yeah, we're gonna be hopping on the five south freeway today. So you can try <laughs> out the auto traffic. <laughs> and when we get back, I'll show you the cool auto parking with the car. Yes, that thing. And we'll have one. it do it all by itself. So we'll continue straight for another uh, two lights, but you can feel how smooth the car is, how yes. very quiet very it is. Quiet. Look at that. What's your favorite color? If black. you're gonna, if you're gonna test it black, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Do you like it too? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I love the black. Very simple. You know, it's yes. a very simple. And it's you know, it's oh, it's, it's lasts forever. That's oh yeah. Good I know. <laughs> my husband he thinking like he told me, why you get silver? But I said no, I love black. You know. Because the only reason that easy to get dark, easy to see. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You lazy to get dark. You get the people watch for you, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. We'll continue oh. straight for oh, another straight, 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 straight for another light. And then we'll start merging to the left-hand lane, not only because on the next light we'll be making a left. And we'll be on the far left-hand turn lane. 
0.2 miles, turn left onto Beach Boulevard. Right, take that off. <laughs> and then at this light, we'll be making a left hand turn, yeah, and then we'll be going all the way to the left. So one more minute, you can have a place to stick for in your car and drive in the carpool lane uh, when you drive solo. So we'll be merging left uh, to around between two lanes and we're going to continue on the 5 South. And we're going to be continuing on the 5 South for another two miles. Whenever you're ready, you can turn on the autopilot. Remember, you can bring it twice to yourself. One, two. Now I'm ready, right? Yep. Okay, and then we can still have our hands guiding yeah, the wheel, but you can see how the car oh, yeah, is driving yeah, itself. Yeah. It's actually turning the wheel for oh, you, yeah, we're, we're still touching the whole time, ready to take. But yeah, so imagine that. And it's perfect, I tell you, it's perfect whenever you're in traffic. Uh -huh. It really just kind of like follows that car in front of you, whenever that moves up, it moves it for you. You don't have to touch the brake, you don't have to touch the accelerator. Mm -hmm. And it just makes your commute a lot less stressful, especially when you're going to I LA. I can feel, I can feel it turn, you know, it moves. Yeah, um, the wheel. I, yeah, no view. I can see it. So it's just driving, and if ever a car like comes right in front of us, it's gonna match that speed I of car. See. Oh, now we're back in manual back control. In manual I view it. Yeah, so you, that's how you override it. At any time, you can override oh, the, the okay. autopilot there. We'll be getting off at the next exit. It'll be called Brokers. It's coming up in three fourths of a mile. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the first one over here. Let's go back. Let's go back to home base. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Alright, so the first one we're gonna go over is called summon. And what this is used for is different different things. So let's say we're right here. Say there's a very tight parking spot behind us, right? Okay. And it's it, it's really hard. I don't know if I can be able to get in. One of the ways you can do this is you push this button twice right here. You see this? Uh, yes. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And see, we activated our summon. So now that we can actually get out of the vehicle now and the car can park for, yeah, for yeah, us. Okay. So we can get out, all of us. And then let's say like there's a, there's a wall over here or something. As soon as it gets close to me, you see how it's stopping? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to and then what it's gonna do, it's gonna pick up that empty space, hopefully right over here. Mm -hmm. But it's just because there's a wall right here, I so see. it might need a little bit of space. Yeah, I don't know if I can fit. Okay, we'll try another. It's gonna try to park there, so it tells us there's an empty space right here. Press that button. Uh -huh. So this is really cool, especially when it's a hard spot to get into. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to get really close to this one. It's going to reposition itself and go up forward. It's going to get really close. Not to worry, not to worry. And then it's going to crack the wheel. It's going to go up straight. See that? Cool. Okay. It's going to reposition itself. Here we go. And with the sensors, your car knows exactly where to go. It's going to crack the wheel again. And this is a really tight space, really guys. Tight space. But <laughs> it's try its best to, to get in there. And this is without me. I'm not touching Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Look how tight this space mm -hmm, is. You mm -hmm. can see the side mirror. Yeah. Like, we oh, won't yeah. even be able to get out. This car is yeah. doing a great job of centering itself between the cars. I this for my work. My work is hard to pop. Just like so? Yeah, like this. <laughs> and then? It's just gonna squeeze 